amazing channel named Geeks for Geek School. My name is Gaurav Kumar Jain and today we are going to develop again a very beautiful game named Pac-Man uh, using Python on this PyCharm platform. Uh, so what all things we will be taking care of while designing the game so that's what I would like to tell you first. So how to change the board, then how to change the number of goals, then uh, how to change the how to change the position of Pac-Man and how to make the ghost move uh, faster you know all these points we are going to cover up and we are going to code these things right so let's dive into the platform and start coding this amazing Pac-Man game so the first thing I would like to do is I would like to uh, import the required modules so random is the first module which uh, I require for this game so from this random I would like to import this choice thing right then we can use then we need this turtle module and from turtle module I would like to import everything so for importing everything we need to put in asterisk like this right and last but not the least is this free games from this free games I would like to import this floor function and the vector function which I generally use for uh, you know making the games it should be free games here yeah? yeah, that is fine ok so we are done with importing all the three required modules let's now define a variable in which we can store the state so I would like to uh, keep this just a second yeah so score then we can have a dictionary over here let's pass 0 as a value to this score so that's how we can de define a dictionary right hope you guys know about the dictionary dictionary is a collection type of module in which we store data in the form of key value pair so that's what a dictionary is let's now define a path so I would like to make use of this turtle function and let's put let's make this path visible let's not make this path visible so initially I would like to make uh, I would like the user not to see the path so I can pass false to this visibility right then we can have another variable like this just a second I would like to check something over here whether everything on this uh, YouTube is going fine or not moment ok good evening Nishan I hope you guys uh, you are enjoying this lecture please don't forget to like and share this video in, in your groups so as to make it reach to the maximum students possible and thank you very much for all the efforts and all the support you are showing to uh, this video and to this channel like it is very much required right now because we want to we want the other students also who are currently in the process of learning you know these amazing coding things I w we want them also to, go to join this channel and enjoy these free online coding classes which we are providing on our channel then we can have this uh, you know writer named variable just a second wires are disturbing me a lot today writer writer is equal to turtle and again I would like to set its visibility to false right then we can have another variable with name aim and we can have this vector function for defining the aim so now we can define the coordinates of the aim 5 comma 0 it is totally your call where you would like to see the aim so pacman is equals to let's now define its position so I would like to see initially the pacman at this position minus 40 minus 80 right ok now what we can have this these ghosts so we can make use of we can make use of list type of variable right for this ghosts 
negative sign we can have both the coordinates positive vector 0 comma minus 5 you know i what i am doing i am trying to define the coordinates i have defined the coordinates in such a way that all the bows can be visible initially to the player at different positions i don't want to see all the bows at the same position I don't want them to get reflected at the same position or you can say start from the same position. So that's the reason I am defining different positions for different goals. Right. That's how we can do it. Okay. So it's looking fine now. Let me see whether everything is going fine on uh, this YouTube or not. And if you have any queries, if you have any questions, you're most welcome to uh, put it in the chat box so that I can see the queries and I can tell you the answers i can give you the answers of your queries of your issues you have okay so we are done with defining the required code for uh, creating the goals now it's time for us to create that uh, you know uh, grid so tiles as usual i'm going to make use of right tiles is the variable that i am putting over here and let's now start creating the whole uh, that background on which the Pac-Man and the boss will come and will play the game right there uh, so we can have 0 comma 0 just give me a short moment Patterns. Then one comma zero zero. 
yesterday also we used the same code for controlling the movement of the player then we can have a function for the offset so return offset of point in tidings so point is the parameter point is a variable i would like to use as a parameter uh, for this function offset now we can have a variable let's say with name x right and inside this i would like to make use of this function float so point remember this formula now point dot x whatever the value of x is you can keep it with 20 or put some other coordinates and then you can plus some value you can add some value to it and then simply you have to divide it by 20 so whatever is the output it's uh, you know you will get an approximate value now okay i think this formula is correctly defined by me yes it is perfectly fine same thing we can do for fetching the value of y also we can put 180 first over here then we can have this float function right and here inside it we can use point dot y comma 20 and then we can simply uh, divide this whole thing by 20 then we can pull the index so how to pull the index we need to first make use of the type conversion method so that's how you can convert anything into an integer type you can put in before the brackets and after that you can make use of this formula simply add the value of x and y and you have to multiply the value of y with 20 so that's how you can do it right and finally if you want this function to return you something so you can make use of this return keyword and uh, what i want this function to return to me i would like it to return to me this index which i have calculated right okay now what ne what is next what next we can have uh, another function let's say with name valid right so it is going to help us in returning the true returning true if point is valid in times if there is no such point then it will uh, you know simply return false that's how i'm going to define the code for this uh, valid named function so index we can put over here index is equals to offset because index is going to come from this function right so that's the reason i'm making use of this function over here simply we can pass this point as parameter now uh, we can have an if control statement to check whether the point is valid or not so tiles then index so that's the way you can use uh, for checking whether the point which this offset has returned is valid in these tiles for these tiles or not if it is suppose equal to 0 means if it is not valid then what should be done i would like this function to return false simply it will just return false right and then we can have this index again offset Point plus nineteen, right? We can add this value nineteen to it, and then we can again have this if control statement if tiles. Uh, let's say if this index is equal to equal to zero, right? Again, what should happen? This function should return false. right so these two conditions will be checked and on the basis of the same it will return us this value false otherwise if these conditions are not true then i would like this function to return to me this thing return point dot x and we can divide it by 20 so i would like to check whether the remainder is equal to equal to 0 or uh, point dot y uh, divided sorry modulus uh, 20 is 
whether tile is greater than 0 or not and if this condition is true what should happen I would like x to be initialized with this value index you know that's how the pacman games run whatever formulas I'm using over here you can easily find it over internet so index modulus 20 